And now it's Blake's turn. She was quite a quite a chore to to figure out how to how to use her in you know the most simplest way possible, the most basic way possible. Because she's such a unique character with her the range of her normals, the way her specials work, the way her smart combos work. She was a lot of work, <laughs> but I'll share what. What I what I do with her, hopefully it can help uh, new players out. So I'll start with her normal. So her crouching A is really short, you gotta be in there. You wanna confirm it to a smart A combo. Her standing A is deceptively short range. You would think that at this distance or about this distance you would be able to get something. But see how he drops down? That's why it's always safer to be like at least the character space away before, or roughly, roughly a character space away if you want to reliably hit, you want to reliably hit your, your smart combo with her. Otherwise they'll just drop out if you're not at prime range for that. So that's something to be very aware of. It's also her, her A is her, my preferred jump jumping button, although her jumping button isn't that good in terms of range and the way the hitbox is placed, I mean you really gotta be conscious of, of jump. you have to delay your jumping a little bit so you can actually have time to land that second hit on the ground, right? Because her jump B is pretty bad for jumping, it, it's low and it might not always put you in the prime spot and it'll whip most of the time, so I wouldn't jump in with that if you want a good combo anyway. Okay. However, it is good for harassing on the second neutral jump. And I remember in the game tutorial for Blake, they did mention that there is a sweet spot for all of her B normals. So if you want to go for that and try to space it out if possible, you'll have to learn like the, the different ranges of her of her all of her B moves if you want that sweet spot. My game plan though is just to harass with B and once they start uh, blocking my my smart combo I'll just use single hits like you know to harass. Mix it up with like a crouching B. However you don't want to do what you want to avoid doing is B attacks closer to your opponent because he'll put you at a disadvantage. Because you see how she's recovering there? They'll, they'll, they could punish you on block pretty bad. It's a much better it's a much better thing to just fix them out like at max range. That way you can get a damage and not put yourself at risk. Her standing scene is the overhead obviously. And it has a pretty good, pretty good range. You can do it from like three to four character spaces away. Her jumping C though is weird, and uh, it, because you, you can jump, you can jump up, and then you can do that. You can delay the timing of when you press C, and it'll just have an effect on when it comes down. Something you could do is maybe after a knockdown, you run back and then do the do the jump C. Cancel it into an assist or just have that extra attack for the the extra surprise damage on your opponent's wake up. However in Rachel's case if you want to use her neutral assist. After that, you're gonna want to time it. Like as soon as you do it, you need to press Rachel's assist. <laughs> as soon as you press the jump C. Let's see her supers. Uh, I don't like using her core circle forward all that much, and that's just gonna be it for sure with punish on. Like a, a super from your opponent, half sc full screen or half screen or whatever, or like a really slow dude. My preferred super on wake up is like 
It's a good way for Fox Chain. Of course, we'll go back. And maybe as an anti air as well. You see your opponent air dashing in, just bust out that. Because that's a pretty good, pretty good hitbox. I don't use her EX moves all that often. I prefer to save her, her uh, the meter for her, her, her preferred super of mine. You can also combo into it. If you so desired. Her bread and butter, I forgot. Her bread and butter, smart combo into Rachel air combo. So let's. On her third hit. No, on her fourth hit of her smart combo, that's when I call him Rachel Assist. That's a smart combo. And Blake will be right there next to Ragna, able to jump in and do an AA. Jump cancel an AA. A. So it would look like this. Well, well now. It would just work, damn it. Damn it, come on, guys. There we go. Oh, I missed that last fire cut. There we go. That's what it should have looked like. Typically, though, you'll be on you'll be on the same side that you started with. But I mean, I guess with timing, you can't change the side of the screen that you end up on. But generally, the key is to wait for Rachel's assist to finish before you do your. Your jump AAs. Because that'll give Ragna time to get pushed back. And then that'll give you your guarantee that you're gonna end up on the side that you started on. Right? Oh. Right? And there it is. <laughs> As for the neutral with Rachel assist, the neutral assist, basic game plan, you can just call your ass in the B, draw Rachel assist, and if it, if it hits, I mean you can just follow up with like a smart combo, if you're in there. Or if they get caught by Rachel assist while you're while they're in the air, you just jump in with your AA, jump cancel AAA. -A -A. But yeah, basic strategy with you know, one Rachel's first assist. Uh, I do believe that is. Oh wait, her smart combo BB. I don't really use that. It's 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 uh it's um it's not really anything you can cancel into from. The opponent does like have he does go into like a I think the only way you can special cancel it is if you get the squeeze spot. That's it. I mean it's not really something that you can rely on unless your spacing is like so good. <laughs> I would rather just harass with me, honestly. With single hits. Just be aware that Stan B does move you forward a little bit. But neutral B, sorry. Neutral jump B, down B, they won't they won't move you forward. So I mean if you're gonna use like neutral B, you have to be aware that you're gonna be moving forward to the opponent. You gotta be ready for for him to Close the space faster, or you have to be ready for him to to be able to close the space between your two characters faster than he normally would. 
if you were just asking that next thing. So be aware.